New satellite clues in the hunt for the missing Malaysian airliner. Search crews are closing in on the location of the missing Malaysia Airlines flight, with Australian authorities confirming a Chinese plane has spotted several objects. As Simon Boda reports, the United States is sending a, a black box locator to the region. Taking off another sortie. Every pilot, every member of the flight crew, desperate to bring back positive news. Satellite imagery, the best clue they have to go on. We're working directly with the Rescue Coordination Centre Australia as one small cog in this giant effort. We're going out there for two, three hours at a time. So the, uh, the satellite imagery is going through them and we're being tasked appropriately through them. But searching an area as big as a small country is a formidable task. Weather conditions making the job even harder. There was cloud down to the surface um, and at times we were completely enclosed with cloud right down at our minimum operating altitude. Overnight, new data emerged from a French satellite, possibly pointing out debris. We have transferred to the Malaysian authorities some information that we received thanks to radar echoes. They are not images, but echoes taken by a French satellite which identified debris which could be from the Malaysia Airlines plane inside a zone of the Indian Ocean. Japanese P-3 Orions have now joined the squadron of search aircraft. The Japanese cooperation is fantastic. Uh, we have worked many times with the, Jap the JMSDF uh, over the years, especially the P-3 crews. They are highly professional and they'll bring a tremendous capability to this operation. A total of 10 planes, including civilian jets and military aircraft from China and the United States, checking nearly 70,000 square kilometres today, the biggest area the search zone has covered since focus turned to the region. On the water, HMAS Success also reached the area. With a crew of more than 200, the Navy vessel will focus on visual and radar searches, coordinating with RAAF aircraft. The search area is very large. Today it'll be around 68,000 square kilometres, so it's a lot of water. Uh, to, to look for just uh, perhaps a tiny object. But weather is the enemy. Rain expected to hit the zone this afternoon. Tropical cyclone Gillian is now a Category 5. While it's off the northwest coast of WA, it'll no doubt play a role in the coming days. At RAAF Pierce, Simon Boda, Nine News. Live now to Simon Boda at Pierce Air Force Base. Simon, what's the latest on the search operation? Well, Pete, I can tell you that uh, Chinese aircraft, the Aleutian, that uh, you were talking about in your introduction, is all about what it has seen. Now, that plane's due to arrive at Perth International Airport, I'm told, in about an hour's time. Now, it's reported back that it saw two relatively large objects surrounded by a number of smaller, wide objects over a several kilometre area. Now, it's reported that to AMSA. AMSA now are in the process of trying to relocate that debris to find out whether or not it is in fact from the MH370 and obviously when the crew lands back at Perth International Airport a little later on we hope to find out a bit more about exactly what they saw and exactly where they saw it. Pete? Thanks Simon. Well Kerry Yaxley's in Kuala Lumpur and Kerry there's been another scare for Malaysia Airlines today. Yes, Peter, a faulty generator forced one of the airline's airbuses to make an unscheduled landing last night. A flight MH066 left Kuala Lumpur just after 11.30 local time. It was heading for Seoul in South Korea, but at around 3am it was forced to divert to Hong Kong Airport. Now, the airline says that the landing was uneventful and that all uh, 271 passengers were transferred to flights with other carriers, but clearly, Peter, this comes at a particularly bad time for Malaysia Airlines.